as you can see, I am down here by the River Thames today. It's a grey morning on a Wednesday in July and I'm looking forward to getting down onto the foreshore. It's looking a bit muddy, I haven't been here for a while. I'm actually here at Battersea. I'm excited to see what the river has thrown out. So do come along with me and let's see what treasures from the past we can find. Right, here we go. I'm going to go down particularly slowly because it's very slippery today. It's been raining like mad. So here we go, down on the foreshore. Excitement. And there's always a lot of pottery along this stretch of the foreshore. I can see a bit over here and I think we might have a nice little scene on it actually. It's always nice to find a pottery bit with a scene. But look, we do, it's broken in just the right place, look. It's a group of people. There's a woman and um, another woman I think and a man with what looks like it could be a donkey. The head is missing. But that's pretty, isn't it? fragment of another world. Oh, what's this? Pipe stem, pottery. You always get quite an exciting feeling when you come down here. It's that anticipation, not knowing what you're going to find, if anything. We've got about two hours before the tide is right out, so we've got plenty of time. So as you can see here, there's lots of oyster shells. People used to snack on those frequently. Poor man's popcorn when they went to watch the Shakespearean play at the Globe. Slipware. Now there's lots of old metal around here. Apparently this part of the foreshore was quite known for boat building amongst other things. And I'm just having a look around here where this nice black mud is. And I have spotted a coin. Now I'm pretty certain it's modern, but still it's always fun to spot a coin. You see it? It's just here. And it is, let's have a look. Yeah, as suspected, it's a one penny, so I'm gonna leave it here for a future mudlark to get excited about in years to come. Woo, look, we're gonna get a bit of wake here. Now, can you see what I saw a moment ago? But I haven't picked it up yet because I wanted to see if you could see it. Just down here, look. It is a little person. Let's take a closer look. Oh, isn't that adorable? It's a tiny little rosy cheeked doll porcelain or ceramic doll just look at that and after all these years you've still got glowing little cheeks and red lips beautiful it's like a frozen charlotte um, and if you don't know the story of the frozen charlotte then go and look it up and i can guarantee that you'll never let your children outside in a freezing cold garden again Now I recognise this, this is a little ceramic dice type thing, it's a game um, known as, well, Alley Gobs, um, there are other names that it was known as, as well, 
children in the late 19th and early 20th century used to play with these. A bit like dice, jacks. I think they used to throw them up in the air and try and catch them on the back of their hand. It looks like a bit of a dump area here because there's lots of bits of pottery eroding out of the mud. There's an old shoe sole just here. and B Monaco Café Restaurant. Oh, we'll have to look that up. I love finding bits of pottery with a name on when you can delve into the history a little bit. Now I have just spotted a pipe over there lying on the foreshore, I don't know if you can see it. I'm going to zoom in very slowly. It's just down there. There it is. It's another bowl from the 18th century. It looks to be mid 18th century I think by the looks of it. Let's go and have a look. Here it is. Yeah, probably from around about 1750 or so. I wonder if there's any tobacco at the bottom. When the mud is dried out, we'll be able to see. Now, what's this? YOLO. That. It's like an alarm. I wonder if it's a rape alarm or something. It's not very loud though, is it? Oh, I don't know what that is. I'll have to look it up. Well, that was a lovely day lark. So how about a little night lark? Well, I have just spotted my first find of the evening. An ancient find indeed. And here it is. Looks like a candidate for the Tideline Art Thames Lost Toys Orphanage. And it looks like Pikachu. Here we go. Yep, that looks like Pikachu. I recognise him from my son's Pokemon days. Very ancient Pokemon. Well, the evening can only get better from here on. Now this down here looks like something that might have come off of a compass or something, doesn't it? What do you think? I'll clean it up and take a closer look later. There's a cute little pipe bowl here. And it's quite an old one too. See that tiny bowl? Now this one probably dates to the late 16th, very early 17th century, so I'm really happy with that. It's tiny, isn't it?
Now here's a pipe fragment and I can see that there's a lovely little maker's mark on the spur there. It's really pretty, it looks like a little star or something. And look here, here is a sign of a pipe. I'm going to try and get it out once this wake has gone because it's going to come rushing in any moment now that that clip has gone by. So we'll keep an eye on where it is. Okay, let's resume, let's resume the excavation. I wonder if there's going to be much of a stem. Oh, not much, but a little bit. Not much, but a little bit. And if we're lucky, we might have another nice maker's mark there. That was a lovely lark by the light of the silvery moon and now I've got a real treat in store for you because we are going to go and visit the cabinet of curiosities belonging to Jamanda Speedwell who is a friend and fellow mudlark and she has an absolutely fabulous clay pipe collection. Hi everyone, we are very fortunate today because fellow mudlark Jamanda Speedwell, who I've had the pleasure of meeting on the Thames Foreshore, has invited us to see her spectacular cabinet of curiosities and collection of mudlarking finds, particularly pipes. And I've just walked around the corner and I'm just overwhelmed looking at this beautiful collection. Hi Jamanda. Hi Nicola. Welcome to my alcove of curiosities. I'll show you a few highlights, my collection. We could start here on the top shelf. Oh, that's a nice one. Yeah. It's a really beautiful condition. Uh, Inniskillen Fusiliers. Right, that's in such Plumstead. Good Plumstead. Yeah. Plumstead. I've got a few Plumstead makers, mm. name, namely Jephthah Stubbs. But that one, who's that one made by? So. It says Hill Late Dudman, and I found out that probably means the Dudman workshop, which was taken over by Hill. I think it's John Hill. Okay. But um, I had fun identifying this. I actually had it sitting around for several weeks, not knowing what on earth it was. But mm -hmm. then one day the sun caught it just here, and I could finally read it. said Egypt, and I worked oh. out that little thing above it is a sphinx. Right. So then I searched clay pipe Egypt sphinx. And that led me to some other examples of this. Oh, brilliant. And that's just so uh, defined, isn't it, as well? Isn't it? It's like it's just come, come mm. out of the mould, isn't it? Yeah, beautiful. Yeah. Good, and we've got possible... I think it's a Nelson, actually. I hope it's Nelson. Can you see his... Um, it appears to have his arm um, held over his front. Oh, yes, yes. Oh, that's lovely. Same on the other side. Oh, that's even nicer, isn't it? Beautiful. Mm. Okay. Actually, one of my strangest ones I haven't identified yet. This is a ship prow. It's got a very strange figurehead. This side seems to be a parrot, doesn't it? Or a bird. God, I haven't seen one like that before. No. And the other side seems to be a lion. It's a bit hard to see, but... Um, mm, well, we'll take a photograph of it and I'll put it up on the screen, see if anybody can recognise yeah, it. Yeah, sure. But I'd be very happy to find one like that. Yeah. This side says stern. I think that's the maker. The other says a, side says alliance, so that might be a clue. Mm. Okay. Well, that's one to research. They're just so um, fanciful, aren't they, these pipes? They're like little works of art. Yeah. And it, 
they're just so joyful I think that's the fun of pipes you yeah. just don't know what you're gonna find on them little animals people diagrams and absolutely that's why I like Victorian pipes mm. the best even though you know they're not the oldest they're just most playful most yeah um, yeah so I've got a few shelves of um, memorials here and then a few shelves of Freemasons pipes mm -hmm. with all their symbols Temple of Solomon the all-seeing eye above it yeah that's lovely yeah and all the symbols the Masons symbols yeah a lot of people used to belong to the Masons in those yes. days didn't they? yeah and this one has unusual detail it has this beautiful crescent moon there with a face oh that's lovely yeah particularly particularly nice one that one mm -hmm. Okay, we could move on to the next display. The top shelf are all unusual shapes. Yeah. Some baskets below that. Yeah. And the dogs. Oh yeah, my yes. eyes drawn to those. <laughs> Little faithful dog sitting on the pipe stem. Yeah. Forever. So this is beautiful. Look at the, the ribs on that. Oh my goodness, it's like a little greyhound, isn't it? It is, yeah. And that's it's just stunning. And look at his little nose. I mean, the fact that that just survived all Absolutely. those years. And you know, when I was pulling it out, it was a bit scary because, of course, you, you're pulling it out expecting it to have just a stem. Yeah. And it, I could have so easily just knocked off that dog. Yes. Couldn't I? Oh, that's just stunning. Yeah. I'd love to find one like that. <laughs> just looking at it, it's got its paws, its tail. Yeah, absolutely gorgeous. Yeah. It must be so hard to think of a favourite one. I mean, yeah, so uh, we could do about four, five to six as my favourites. That's another dog. It's not quite as perfect as the other one, but it's, it's really charming. And lovely. Yeah. Those pipe makers were a very imaginative lot. I think it would have been a lot of fun being a pipe maker. <laughs> yeah. So, horses. So this is, again, is one of my favourites. This beautiful quality pipe, beautiful horse on that. Yeah. And this is from the White Horse and Half Moon, which was a pub in Borough High Street. Yes, and I found one up similar to that. That's I found it. a pipe bowl and you helped to identify it. Indeed, so, yeah. 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 That is lovely. Who made it? Has it got a maker? Yes, it does. Um, oh, W. King, who was uh, also based in Borough. Mm hmm. I just love when we find the maker on the pipe because it just adds that extra layer of interest, doesn't it? Mm, mm -hmm. Yeah. Here we've got a horse hoof. So if you pipe it up like that, but if you turn it over, <laughs> I can just imagine. That's pretty. I just imagine them sitting there thinking, "Well, what can we do now?" I know a horse hoof. Yes. We've done a horse underneath for the heel and a horse on the bowl. Let's do a horse hoof. <laughs> yeah. So we've got a, a few um, horse heads on spurs, but this is my favourite because of just the detail and the quality of that. Mm. Yeah, that's wonderful. Okay, so... Shall I swap over yeah. and come down that end? And uh, then that's better. So we've got some more animals here, but the most unusual one is this. Here we've got a frog sitting astride a fish. Of course. For some reason. <laughs> fish, a fish and a frog. That is just uh, so different, isn't it? I wonder what that signifies, a frog <laughs> sitting on a fish. Yes. Oh, that must have been so exciting finding that yes. one. Yes, yeah. How marvellous. <laughs> I'm going to have to get some good photos of these. Um, <laughs> Okay, shall we move on to sports? Okay. Football. Ah oh, yes, that's a nice football pipe. Mm. I wonder if these were made to commemorate teams or just generally the the game itself. Yeah, somebody did su suggest it was from a particular um, team or game, but I haven't found any background to that. Cricket. Oh, cricket. Yeah, that's yeah. nice. Yeah, I've got a few cricket pipes. Yeah. Marvellous. You've got the... And... Ones. 
Yeah. Oh, that's nice, the little foot kicking the ball. That's yeah, it. I love yeah. those. And yeah, as you said, quite a few uh, AOB pipes. Okay. So now we move on to heads and hands and claws. <laughs> heads and hands and claws. It sounds like heads, shoulders, knees and toes, but in a bit of a more, bit, bit not so nice. <laughs> heads, hands and claws. So we've got this beautiful one of this hand holding the pipe. Oh, that's very special. Yeah. Yeah, isn't that lovely? Below that, we've got the odd fellows, like you've got several good ones of that mm -hmm. yeah with the the heart and the hand yes and next one this is another of my favorites this is appears to be a glove yeah Let's start with the knight at the top yeah oh he's great isn't he mm -hmm. quite a few turks heads many of them are the same these are really common but they're lovely and they all date to roughly what would you say victorian times yeah. these these pictorial yeah. pipes yeah and then you've got that one there, which is very nice, very detailed. Yeah, he said he's quite broken, but at least his face mm. is there. Yeah, his face is very expressive, isn't it? Look at those eyes. That is, yeah, very expressive. And he's sort of got a varnish on him. And he's a yes. French pipe, isn't he? Yes. He's, yeah. from, he's a Louis Fiolet special. Yeah. French um, pipe maker who was very, very prominent in those times. He made some fantastic designs. And here's a really lovely surprise. Oh no, so, that is very special, isn't it? This is such a thrill putting this one out. Just putting it out the back and finding there's this beautiful little face in there. Perfect little face. And it's tiny. Yeah. It's really tiny. So I think this is a little African boy. Yeah. Look at the hair. That is just so special. Yeah. Oh, I love it. <laughs> This one here. So that's all plants and flowers. The top shelves are the rose and thistles. Yeah. Which I think were made to commemorate the unification of Scotland uh, and England, weren't they? I don't know, but that would no? be good mm, to, um, need to verify it. No, I was just assuming it was from a rose and thistle pub, but that would make sense why there's so many of them. I think that's what it is, but mm. uh, I could be wrong. I have been wrong before. <laughs> And those lovely thorny ones. Yes. Look, really interesting seeing them together because there's so much variety in their mm. shape. Yeah. Well, they're great, aren't they? And acorns. Yeah. Oh, that's a nice one with a big yes. flourished leaf. <laughs> yeah. Beautiful. And then we've got a nice printer's tray with all sorts of delights in it, including various teeth. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I've got, got the denture next to the brush, next to some animal teeth. Very appropriate. That's some dolls' heads and lovely shards there. Oh, I've got a treasure chest. This is so exciting. Finding an actual treasure chest. Yeah, I can't get it out there. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, and the keys to it as well. Oh, look. Oh, wow. Treasure. Yeah. And oh. the Thames. Finding that. That, was... <laughs> that is very on. special. I'm still looking for my treasure. <laughs> Turn around. I love your uh, bellamine faces. Mm. They're very special, aren't they? Mm. And these pipes. And I'm just looking at this one. And do you know what? I think you you have beaten me in the yeah? the longest pipe stake. That Ooh. is a gorgeous one, isn't it? There's nothing quite like pulling out a long yeah. pipe from the mud, is there? And it just keeps on <laughs> yes coming. <laughs> and some lovely bits of pottery. Mm. So these are ones here, all my complete pipes. So mm -hmm. they're the small workers' pipes. Yeah. This is my favourite, this beautiful curved one. Oh, that's, oh gosh, that's so um, elegant. Isn't it? Isn't it? Yeah. Look at that. So rather, you can just imagine somebody bringing that out with a flourish. <laughs> <laughs> that is very elegant. And so, Fragile looking. Mm. How on earth did that survive? Yes, in the mud. Mm. And you've got these beautiful long pipes there from the 1700s. Gosh, well, what a collection. Now, do you have an overall favourite? 
No, I've got about six <laughs> overall favourites. <laughs> I know, it's so difficult, isn't it? Yeah. We could have a look at these ones yep. next. So I've organised them into ones which have their maker's stamp on the front. Okay. Um, and here, ones with the maker's names on the sides. But this row here is special. These are all ones which have the maker's mark on the heel. Yeah. And we've got some special ones here. We've got the... Uh, a lot of these are Dutch. Yes. And some have the milkmaid. And they oh, are, I've and seen the milkmaid. I think I've got one. It's ah. so... Um, again, so detailed, isn't it? I can't even see if that's yeah, the we'll one, actually. Photos. I think that's not the one. Ah, I think it's this one. Well, they date to the 18th century, don't they? Like mid-18th, I think. That's her. There we so go. that's the little milkmaid. Yeah. That's a really modest little pipe, but with this mm -hmm. beautiful detail on the heel. We'll take a photo and do a close-up, but... Yeah. Um, yeah, gosh. And, yes, that, so they're Dutch pipes. It's that shape, isn't it, with that sort of long heel with the round bit on the uh, yeah. end. And the other special Dutch pipe is this one. Again, it's got a beautiful smooth bowl, which is... Mm -hmm. um, but on the heel... I don't know if you can actually see it with your naked eye. <laughs> no. That's a, that, <laughs> that's a windmill. A windmill? Yes. Wow. So, again, a Dutch theme. Mm. So there must have been some Dutch people down on the foreshore. Or would they just have been bought from Holland or... or uh, um, there would have been Dutch boats back and forth mm, all the time, yeah. wouldn't there? Yeah, yeah. And Dutch people living in London. This one doesn't have a, such a good stamp, but it's just a beautiful um, beautiful piece, and look at that. Yeah, because that was quite unusual to have that decoration on the stem for that time, wasn't it? Around 1740s, I think, these pipes date to, don't they? Sure. I'd have to look it up again. Yeah, that's yeah. very special. Okay. And then you've got your older Yeah. Bowls. Well, there's a little sub-collection here of symbols on spurs, which I'm really interested in as well. So you've got everything yeah. from little um, hearts. Yes. There's a tiny, tiny leaf on that one. Gosh, it's like you can just go deeper and deeper, <laughs> isn't it? And tinier and tinier yeah. into, the, uh, into the details of these pipes. Yeah. And you've got circles and flowers and a little clover on that one. Yeah, and as you said, below that we've got the oldest pipes. Mm -hmm. the tiny little bowls there mm. from the sort of late 16th, early 17th century. And then we go down to some of the variety of Victorian pipes. Mm -hmm. ah, there's enormous variety. Yes. That's why I've just displayed just to show yeah, the how many different types there are. They are rather special. They look like something you might smoke at the opera or something, don't they? <laughs> the little curtain yeah, bits at the it. top. Yeah. <laughs> How long have you been collecting? It's probably about seven years. But I, I normally go on average once a week, once every fortnight. What's that? That looks interesting. I was excited when I found that. That looks rather old. Because I've got like a, a shield on it and um, I have taken it to be seen by one of the Museum of London. Mm -hmm. um, but then they think it's more recent and they don't think it's quite oh. a special, but um, I think it is. I think it probably slots into something because there's a slot there yeah. and something that slots there. It always so looks like it could be from a musical instrument, doesn't it? But mm. No. I don't know. Mm. Is it hollow? Mm. No. Actually, I've never tried hollow. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I just assume that's a sort of small so slot kind of for, magic for that. Magic flute. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So if anybody does know what yeah. that's from, I'd love to hear from you. Okay, super. We'll put a photograph of it up. And you've got some nice little plaques as well from ships. I like finding those. Yeah. Bureau of Ships. Yeah, that's... Boat um, engine number D934. That's that US Navy, World War II. So they were interested in that at the Museum of London, even though it's recent. Mm -hmm. So, But they're just still trying to link it to something. Mm. Fabulous. There's so much here to look at that... Um, it's uh, it's a real feast for the eyes. A bit of natural history up there. Oops. Up here, okay. Oh, we've got mermaids' purses. Mm -hmm. And we've got 
Well, you've got some knit combs, haven't you? Yeah. The knit combs, they are fantastic. Are they medieval or, or Tudor? Or... I don't know. These are wooden, I think. So um, I suspect they're not as old. For very, very old-fashioned knits. <laughs> And what else have you got up here? Have you got some little bones or something? Oh, well that's, um, <laughs> that's the egg case of shield bugs. Oh, the egg case of shield bugs. Yes, oh. I can send you the close-up photo yeah, of that. Because please. that's fascinating. And what's that? Oh, so. those are moths. Moths that are found dead in the house. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That is brilliant. And you might appreciate this as someone who's always up really early to catch the pipes. <laughs> oh, what does it say? Lost time is never found. And this chap is remonstrating with this lazy person in bed. Oh, yeah. Lost time is never found. Very profound and very true. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> mm -hmm. And the one next to that, the Vox. Now that's a mystery because I found that right under Vauxhall Bridge. How appropriate. I've got a rough age for it, but no idea of what its origin was. 1770s, I think I was told. Mm. This curiosity, which I couldn't work out for myself, it turned out to be the top of a Roman pinch mouth flagon. Oh my goodness, a Roman pinch yeah. mouth flagon. Isn't that gorgeous? Yeah. And each piece has got a story, hasn't it? Mm. Mm. Which is what we love. Yes.